Hello my lovely YouTubers. So in this video we are going to be looking at Catlia nobilior. It is a species orchid and I picked this one up earlier this year from the Redlands Orchid Festival. I didn't actually attend the festival but I had somebody pick up an order that I placed through Bella Vista Orchids so that's where I got this one and we'll go ahead and look at the tag so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see C. nobilior, and the N is lowercase, indicating to us that it is, in fact, a Cattleya species. So this is Cerulea by Ceruliens, and Cerulea is just the color, so is Ceruliens. They are both the two different colors that were used to create this particular species, C. nobilior. The orchid world blue is not the typical blue that we're used to seeing. It is more of a light purplish kind of color. And the BS just means um, blooming size, not the other thing that you're thinking of. So here is the media that I have my nobiliar growing in. You can see it's actually a fairly small plant when I pan out here. You can see the size of the blooms in comparison to the rest of the plant. That pseudobulb is looking very, very shriveled. I've been bad about watering this one just because I'm afraid to overwater it. It's one of those cattleyas that really doesn't like to have its um, roots kept wet or moist. It really does like to dry between waterings, and I've definitely been giving it the drying between waterings. So I have it planted in this lava rock and it really does seem to respond well to the lava rock. I've heard that you can mount them, you can you know, pretty much plant them in anything, but you have to make sure that their roots aren't kept wet, and they do like a lot of airflow around their roots as well, so that's why I went with the lava rock medium. And this plant really has put on a wonderful display. I can't wait to see this one grow and put out more blooms. This species is actually very unique to the Alliance. The Catley Alliance, typically what you're used to seeing is the spikes forming from in between the leaves, but actually for this species, they will form their spikes at the base of the pseudobulb before they make new growths. So these spikes are indicative of new growth still to come. So no new pseudobulbs have been made only spikes. The fragrance on this orchid is absolutely amazing. It is a strong floral fragrance. It's just really, really lovely. And the time for Cattleyas when they're normally the most fragrant is in the early morning. So right around 9, 10 o'clock is when they are the most fragrant because they're trying to attract those daytime pollinators. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one in the future. You guys can follow me on Facebook and Twitter because that's where I post blooming pictures before I make a video about them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.